Welcome to day 10 of solitude. This is another bright, shiny, beautiful day, so it's a good day to be outside for those of us that are in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I just want to review really quickly the yesterday we talked about the fixed versus the growth mindset, which was an opportunity to look at the work of Carol Dweck in her book Mindset and to reflect on whether we're somebody who sees ourselves as open to change, somebody who can grow and develop skills and talents, or whether we have a static mindset about ourselves where we're already set in stone and we have what we have in terms of abilities or skills, and that's all that it is. And as part of that, I'd ask you to consider soliciting some feedback from somebody who's in your household, um, somebody that you know that you could contact on the phone or via video, and just to ask them for feedback about maybe how you communicate or how you uh, work interpersonally with them, or even um, relationship dynamics in terms of how you handle that. So I'm anticipating that some of you had the chance to do that and had a chance to look at how that felt and how to see that as an opportunity for you to build on and learn more about yourself. Not necessarily that what they would have to share would be facts, but just that it would be their perspective and that you could be present with that in a way where it didn't feel reactive or like you needed to defend yourself. Today we're going to talk about a scarcity versus abundance mindset. And I know again we're mindset, but right now, you know, if you go in a grocery store or Target or Walmart or wherever, there's a really good chance that you're going to see some empty shelves. And I think many of us have felt twinges of fear because of that. And that's the that's that twinge that says that there's a scarcity of things. And that's driven out of fear. Scarcity is really driven by fear. So the fear says things like there won't be enough. Um, I, I have to look out really only for myself and other people won't help me. So that's scarcity. That's very much, it's, it's the kind of thing that incites panic and incites anxiety. And it really drives us into a mindset that's kind of like, it's everybody for themselves. Now, the abundance mindset is much more like, uh, much more like positive affirmations. So I can figure things out. I'm resourceful. I can depend on other people. Other people will help me. There's enough for everyone if we just take what we need. So that abundance mindset, you can see the difference in terms of how that feels just as you hear those words right? And it feels soothing. It feels comforting. It feels like we're part of a collective team. Like, you know, our neighbors are partners with us rather than adversaries. And in this particular time, having that kind of a outlook is going to be particularly helpful because this is a point where we really need to come together and see ourselves as part of a unity, a part of America that is really working together rather than just out for ourselves. And if you look on some of the different pieces, you know, the news is predominantly fear-based, unfortunately, but usually they try to add in some stories that are a little more uplifting, a little more positive in terms of things that are do people are doing to help each other and boost each other up. And we've talked about that as well in terms of how can we personally reach out to other people and focus on providing a sense of like, I'm there for you, I support you, I'm, I'm a listener, I'm an encourager. So this all, as you can probably put together, one of our previous conversations was about locus of control. And you can see where that scarcity mindset is very external locus of control. It's looking at those shelves and letting that derive our emotional state rather than an internal locus of control where we say, I bring calm into any situation and I'm not going to let that impact the fact that I'm fine, I'm okay, I have everything I need right now. I don't need to panic. So just to kind of let you see that a lot of the conversations we're having on these videos, well, one-sided, but um, they overlap and they intersect and as you start to build all these different pieces together, you'll see how they all work to bring about a philosophy of life, a way of processing information that's just much healthier. So your action item for today, and I'm saying today, but I'm saying that loosely because I don't want you to go running out to the store. <laughs> it's, it's really the next time you need something, whether it's the grocery store or uh, Target or Walmart or wherever, 
I want you to go in and I want you to just spend a few moments looking at the empty shelves and doing the affirmations that I mentioned. Everything's fine. These, store, these shelves will be restocked. Everyone has what they need. We have enough and we can take care of each other and I can even give to others and it all balances out. So I want you to try to find an opportunity to, to take that moment to provide yourself the reassurance and to try to get more into an abundance outlook, an outlook that says there's plenty for everyone as long as we take what we need and really that we are a team and I want to help other people and other people will help me. I hope this really serves you well today and I just ask you to have a great day 10 and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.